Hello and welcome to this May 12, 2010 video version of Invested Central's Chart of the Day. I'm Tom Boley, Invested Central's Chief Market Strategist, and it's my pleasure to provide you with today's Chart of the Day. This Chart of the Day is brought to you by StockCharts.com, simply the web's best financial charts. Today we are featuring uh, Dex One Corporation, it's a services company, ticker symbol is DEXO. It's about a $1.2, $1.3 billion services company. Um, taking a look at the stock, it's only uh, been public, it uh, looks like, for a little over three months. And you can see it came out around $31, moved up, came down quickly, fell below that $31 level, and then uh, set a short term support level at about 26 and a quarter, came back up, retested the $31 level, once again fell to the 26 and a quarter area, and then rose one more time and failed at $31 before the recent weakness that we've seen over the last couple of weeks here in early May. Um, off of this downtrend, you can see right here we actually printed a piercing candle. Um, that's a candle that gaps down, opens below the prior day's candle body, and then manages to come back up and close in the upper half of the prior day's candle body. This is a reversing candle off of a confirmed downtrend, which you can see is definitely in place here. So ordinarily, we would see a short-term bounce off of this type of candlestick. To the downside, we want to watch that 23 and a quarter area. Uh, the open on Tuesday was at 23.27. That also was the low of the day. So uh, from a conservative standpoint, any kind of a move below 23 and a quarter. Um, you know, it might, might take you out of the trade if you want an intraday stop. Otherwise, a closing stop would be at that 23 and a quarter level as well. To the upside, we'd watch a couple of areas. On this breakdown below price support, you can see the MACD was heading straight down. So that normally indicates that any kind of a 20 day test is going to be uh, most likely a failure. Um, and the 20 day is at 27.99 and it's dropping pretty rapidly. The other area, uh, and the first area actually, that uh, uh, DEXO may run into some difficulties is right at this 26 and a quarter area because this is the prior support area where the stock was continually being bid higher. And uh, then just recently, over the last couple of days, you can see we broke down below that 26 and a quarter area. And it's not unusual to go up and simply retest that before moving back down again. So I would watch 26 and a quarter as the initial resistance area where you may want to think about taking profits. If it can move above this area, maybe even on an intraday basis, you might see it get up close to the 20 day before turning back down. So those are the two areas to watch to the upside. Um, DEXO, you can see from the uh, oversold oscillators, could use a bounce here. Uh, we traded with an RSI below 30, actually all the way down to 20, perhaps even slightly below 20 in uh, uh, or just here over the last couple of days and also stochastics right now at 10 and uh, dropping as well. So the oversold conditions, um, the, uh, the reversing candlestick and the fact that we've got price support, or excuse me, price resistance now up at about 26 and a quarter and this declining 20 day which is almost up at $28. All of that would combine to suggest that uh, DEXO may see a near term move to the upside. But uh, this would be a quick trade only on the long side. Try to get your money, get back to the sidelines, and then wait for another trade to set up. I hope you've enjoyed our presentation today. Be sure to check out our chart of the day every day at investedcentral.com. While you're there, sign up for our free weekly Market Pulse newsletter and have the chart of the day emailed directly to you. Happy trading.